Hey what is going on everybody? Welcome to another video in which we are going to see how to calculate income tax for the financial year 2018 and 19 that will be applicable for the assessment year 2019 and 20. Also we'll see some couple of examples for illustration purpose. So let's get started with this video. So as you can see we have the income tax lab rates for the people whose age is less than 60 years. So compared to the financial year 2017 and 18 there have been no changes that are made in the tax lab rates and the tax limits as far as financial year 2017 and 18 is concerned. So basically we have some changes related to the standard deduction and the health and education says if you want to watch what are the different changes that have been made in the budget 2018 you can watch our video the link to which is in the top right corner of this video right now okay so we have the income tax lab rates okay so for people of age less than 60 years there is no uh, tax lab rate for the income uh, which is up to 250000 then for 250000 to 5 lakhs we have the slab rate of 5% for 5 lakh to 10 lakhs we have a 20% slab rate and for income beyond 10 lakhs we have 30% slab rate so there are no changes compared to the financial year 2017 and 18 slab rates apart from this we have the surcharge of 10% for taxable income uh, between uh, 50 lakhs to 1 crore and 15% for the taxable income greater than 1 crore. So this is the slab rates as far as uh, people of uh, age less than 60 is concerned. Okay, so for the people whose age is between 60 years to 80 years, we have the slab rates as uh, for uh, the income between for the income which is less than 3 lakhs, we have 0% tax rate. For income between 3 lakh to 5 lakh, it is 5%. For income between 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs it is 20% whereas for income greater than 10 lakhs it is 30%. Again uh, the same surcharge of 10% for the income between 50 lakhs to 1 crore and 15% for income greater than 1 crore. So for the people whose age is uh, greater than 80 years uh, there are no changes again in these slab rates compared to the financial year 2017 and 18. So up to 5 lakhs there is no uh, tax rate that is applicable for the people greater than 80 years. For income between 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs it is 20% and for income greater than 10 lakhs it is 30%. So this is as far as the income tax lab rates are concerned. There were no changes in these lab rates uh, nor in the tax limits. Alright, so let's come to the example one of uh, our income tax calculation process. So uh, let's say we have the income from salary as 8,50,000 and the income from other sources as uh, 19,000 which uh, comes to the total of uh, 8,69,000 uh, and let's say we have the deductions of uh, ATC, ATD and ATTTA as uh, you can see on the screen that is 1,50,000, 15,000 and 9,000. The total uh, comes to around uh, 1,74,000. Now these deductions are subtracted from your gross total income which you have earned in that particular financial year. So uh, for this example we can see the uh, difference is 6,95,000. So the deduction is uh, removed from the gross taxable income or you can say the gross uh, total income and we get the gross taxable income as the difference of total income and the deductions. Now a new component that have been introduced in the budget 2018 that is a standard deduction of rupees 40,000 which will be applicable only to salaried employees and uh, pensioners. Okay so uh, this deduction is applicable to the gross taxable income which will uh, reduce your tax liability. Alright, so your gross taxable income becomes uh, 695000 minus 40000 which is equal to 650000 So this is the way how standard deduction will work for salaried employees and pensioners. So this will reduce the total tax liability. Okay, so if you think that uh, the gross taxable income that we have that is 655000 and uh, according to the tax lab rate it is uh, 20% okay, of this uh, income. So if you think that uh, income tax is calculated in this way and we have to pay the income tax of 1,31,000 then uh, I would like to tell you guys that this is not the process that how income tax is calculated. Alright, so the process is as you can see on the screen right now is in this way that is uh, for income up to 2,50,000 we do not have to pay any tax which is 0% for income between 2,50,000 to 5 lakhs 
uh, the difference is taken that is 250000 so 5% of 250000 is uh, 12500 and then again for the next uh, slab rate that is of 20% the difference of uh, 655000 is taken and 5 lakhs is taken so 655000 minus uh, 5 lakhs which uh, the the 20% of this difference uh, which is 31000 all right and uh, since we do not have any income which is greater than 10 lakhs then uh, for this component it is zero so basically we are supposed to add all these components and we have something called as tax rebate which will be applicable only if your uh, gross taxable income is less than or equal to 3 lakh 50 3 lakh 50 thousand so uh, in this example the uh, tax rebate is not applicable all right and this says that was 3% in the previous year has been increased to 4% so uh, the 4% will be applicable on the total of uh, 12531000 ,000, which comes to around 1740 so basically all these uh, components will be added in order to get your uh, tax liability or you can say the total income tax that you are supposed to pay so it comes to 45240 based on your uh, slab rates and uh, taxable income so let's go to our uh, second uh, example of the income tax calculation process so let's say we have uh, income from salary as 5 lakhs and income from other sources as 15,000 and we have these reductions as you can see on the screen similar to our example 1 and now the gross taxable income is uh, calculated based on the difference of your gross total income and the deductions that is the investments that you have made all right so uh, it comes to 3,41,000 all right and again the standard deduction that is of 40,000 which is applicable for the salaried employees and pensioners all right so this standard deduction has replaced the two components of uh, your income right now that is uh, medical reimbursements and transport allowance okay so these two allowances will not be allowed whereas you will get a flat uh, deduction on your uh, gross, uh, gross uh, taxable income Alright, so your gross taxable income becomes equal to 3,41,000 minus uh, 40,000, okay, which is equal to 3,1,000. Alright, so if you think that uh, the uh, 3,1,000 that you have of uh, taxable income and 5% of this which comes to 15,050 will be your income tax, then uh, that is not the process uh, that is uh, used in order to calculate your income tax. So the actual process is... Uh, in the, as you can see on the screen that is uh, income up to 250000 it is exempted from any tax since the tax lab rate is 0% for income between 250000 to 5 lakh since it is uh, between this uh, slab rate that is 5% of 301000 and uh, 250000 so the difference of this and then the 5% of that difference is taken into consideration so it comes to 2550 and these two components will be nil since the gross taxable income is 3 lakh 1000 all right and the tax rebate will be taken into consideration in this example since uh, the gross taxable income is uh, less than or equal to 3 lakh 50000 so the tax rebate that is uh, your uh, income tax was 2550 and minus 2500 so a maximum of 2500 will be taken into consideration for tax rebate so uh, your uh, says becomes equal to 4% of this total that is 50 rupees all right so uh, 50 and then this is equal to 2 so this becomes equal to 50 and uh, 2 that is 52 all right so uh, tax rebate was applicable in this case which uh, reduced the taxable income or you can say the tax that you are supposed to pay all right so 52 is the total income tax that you are supposed to pay based on this particular example so this is the way how income tax is calculated for the financial year 2018 and 19. so before wrapping up i would like to introduce to you our free android app fincalci which is a financial calculator app exclusively for the people of india that will help you to calculate your income taxes and track on monthly basis also it will help you to calculate the interest on savings accounts fixed deposits recurring deposits ppf accounts mutual funds and many other indian savings schemes so don't forget to download our free android app fincalci the link you can see on the top right corner of this video right now also you can see the link in the description section so that's it in this video subscribe to this channel like and share this video stay tuned